guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jennifer Antoinette. I am continuing with my Etsy natural hair care series and I have a lot of reviews on my channel that are geared toward natural hair care brands that I find on Etsy and today's video is so special to me because it is my first suggestion box review and today I'm reviewing that brand and if you want to see what the brand is and the review, stay tuned. Okay guys, so this was nominated to me by Naturally A Princess. I had a comment on one of my videos and I was asked to do this review. I don't know if this young lady is affiliated with the brand, but regardless, it was suggested to me. It was my first suggestion, so I'm so excited to tell y'all what it is. Today's video is all about, drum roll please. It's the Queen Curl Zero curls by Zaire I hope I said that right but Queen Curls brand on Etsy I cannot wait to share with you guys my review and my first impressions on the brand so let's get into it all right so the shipping on this I ordered it on December 9th 2020 it was shipped on December 10th very next day and then I received it on December 14th so very 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 quick turnaround and when I received it it came in such a lovely cute little packaging I mean, it was color coordinated. It had little thank you stickers. I mean, that was really cute. They put a lot of thought into it. So I really, really liked that. Nothing was damaged and everything was fine for shipping. And it was in a box. So you know how I feel about boxes. So thumbs up for that. All right, first up, we have the Bentonite Clay. This is eight ounces for $11.49. And all the prices that I'm mentioning are the prices that are at the time of this recording. Next is the hair tea rinse. It's a four pack of tea bags for $14.50 and they come in this mason jar. It also comes with little sayings on the little tag. So I thought that was cute to mention. And these are the size of the tea bags. Pretty god doggone big. This is the burdock root and mint growth oil. This is four ounces for $12.95. It has a lot of the herbs in there. I bought this as a set. So individually, this was $12.95 for four ounces. And this is the burdock root and mint butter cream for your hair. This is eight ounces for $12.95. But this plus the oil that you just saw, I bought this as a set. As a set, these two were $18.50 for the both of them. And lastly, this is the Honey Goddess Hot Oil Treatment. This is four ounces for $11.95. So there is a little bit of prep before you actually start using the product. So I'm starting off with a bottle of water. Um, this is about 16 ounces. When you read the directions on the tea rinse, you will have to just get about 16 ounces and if you don't know how to measure or have anything to measure a bottled water a regular bottle of water will do just fine after it comes up to a boil you safely pour this into a cup that can you know handle hot liquids and then I put one of the tea bags into the water to let it seep and then as it's seeping it will turn a nice reddish purplish maroonish type color and then I removed the tea bag and then I let the water cool. Once it cooled, I personally put it into a cleaned um, spray bottle and I use a funnel to kind of aid in that. So you will need, obviously the bentonite clay, you will need plastic items to mix it with and some apple cider vinegar or you can use water. You have to use plastic because the metal will interfere with the characteristics of the clay. So on the directions, it didn't really give specific measurements. So you just kind of have to eyeball it due to whatever length of hair that you have. So I ended up using about four tablespoons of the clay and about 10 tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar and this is the consistency that I got from that amount 
I'm just starting off on my fresh hair and I wet it a little bit. It doesn't say that you have to wet it, but for whatever reason, I just prefer to wet my hair a little bit. I am putting on gloves to put on the clay. You don't have to, I just prefer to do it because that's just a preference, but there is no need to put on gloves. You can apply it with a brush, but I am going to apply it with my hands. I did section my hair off and I'm starting with the clay. So just a little bit about the clay. It does come from volcanic ash and can be used to control frizziness. It helps dry hair and it gives shine among other things. It does clarify the hair as well. It draws out the impurities. So I'm definitely, definitely interested at this point and what it can do for my hair. And I'm just kind of going through and sectioning off my hair and making sure I'm saturating it all throughout my hair. At this point, I was a little alarmed because it looked like it was stretching my hair out um, and I just was not really feeling it. But again, this is my first time ever, not just with this brand, but first time ever using bentonite clay. So I didn't know what to expect, but nevertheless, I just kept putting it into my hair and hoping for the best. And just a heads up, the Queen Curls hair brand does not have shampoo in the literal sense. That's why I'm using the bentonite clay with the apple cider vinegar mixed with it instead of water. And although the apple cider vinegar stinks, it's good for clarifying the hair. I'm just showing you guys the amount that I mixed was enough for the amount of hair that I had. But anyway, the apple cider vinegar is good for removing product buildup. So that's why I used it. And that's why people use it in substitution for shampoo. So it can get rid of dirt and excess oils, which is what shampoo does. So. The directions say to let this sit for 30 minutes, but I ended up sitting it in for an hour because I got distracted by the news. So I'm going to wash out the bentonite clay and surprisingly, it was not hard when I rinsed it out. It was a pretty smooth application and it was very, very easy to wash out. And by wash out, I'm just meaning to run water under it. So this is how my hair looks right after I get out of the shower with no product. I love how my curls look. I'm taking the hot oil treatment and I'm putting some of the oil into a separate container. I don't usually try to warm up the bottle that it's in. I feel like if it keeps getting warmed up and then taken out, it loses some of its effectiveness. But anyway, after I warmed it up, I went ahead and sprayed some of the tea rinse into my hair. And then I followed it up with the oil, which is you see here. So I just followed that whole process over my whole hair. I let the tea rinse and the oil sit in my hair for about 30 minutes. And after that, I decided to go ahead and put some of the butter in there. It, when you tap it, it comes off as if it's kind of hard and it's very light in the container. But once you put it into your hand and then you rub it, it, automatically feels like butter y'all like it melted just like butter it was really really good all right to prevent oil overload since i already used oil for the hot oil treatment i'm just going to do spot treatments in certain areas around my edges, my perimeter, just because I already put so much oil in there. And the next couple of weeks when I do my update, I'll use it differently. But just for today, I'll just do the spot treatments. So I went ahead and twisted up my hair with some other styling products. And remember this line doesn't have a lot of styling products, so that is separate. But this is the next day and this is the result of the twist out. So first and foremost, let's talk about the clay. So this is my first time ever using bentonite clay. And honestly, I really, really, really loved the way that my hair felt after I rinsed everything off. I'm not gonna lie, when I was putting it in, it gave me a little bit of a scare because it was stretching my hair out. And so I didn't know if that was supposed to happen. That maybe the consistency that I mixed the clay with the apple cider vinegar was it off. But regardless, I was pleasantly surprised with the result. I think when I do my four week updates, if I, when I use this again, I will probably use water 
and see if that made any difference. And maybe I'll incorporate a shampoo. Who's to say? Overall, I had a very, very, very pleasant pleasant experience with this clay. It is messy and I am not a good person with messes. So this probably, at least for cleaning purposes, is not my favorite thing. But overall, I really think that this really, 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 after I washed everything out, you couldn't tell by my reaction, it was really, really good. And honestly, my hair today is so soft, guys. And again, this is coming from a girl that has never used bentonite clay before. So I never knew about it. So I am just so happy that I got to use this and this was fantastic. So I really, really do recommend this. So with the tea rinse, first of all, I love this jar. It comes in name brand jars. So even when you get done with the tea, you definitely can reuse this for your own home personal benefits. So, yeah. But this was definitely easy to make. And I did have some left over. Being as though there's no preservatives in it, I do recommend that you do put it in the refrigerator. I would bet that you can at least keep it in the refrigerator for up to a week. Just take it out maybe 30 minutes before you use it to kind of let the let the tea rinse get to room temperature so you won't spread on your hair while it's cold. Yeah, I think I think it's a really a great thing to kind of use throughout the week to kind of rejudge your hair when you're looking for a little bit moisture. I think that's a great alternative to just a regular water or anything like that or anything else that you may use. Yeah, guys, not anything. It wasn't a bad smell. It does have hibiscus in there and chamomile. And so the smell was very nice. But overall, I like the start of it. I like the idea of it so we'll see what happens the the burdock root and mint growth oil and the honey goddess hot oil treatment i'm going to talk about these at the same time so personally this was oil overload for me i should not have chosen two oils but when when you're looking at this brand and i say this with much respect there isn't a lot of styling products with this brand it's really geared toward the health of your hair and your scalp so my idea behind this was i'm going to get the growth oil and i will do a length check in my update video and i love that all you can see the ingredients like you can see the ingredients the ingredients in this growth oil for the herbs is burdock root elderflower and mint leaf and nettle leaf oh, i'm excited to use this but again i can't give a definite review on it because it's just been a day so i'll let you guys know in a few weeks with the oil here the hot oil treatment i i absolutely love this smell it's called honey goddess and it has honey in it what you're supposed to do and it smells really really good but what i do like about this is that you can use this as a pre-poo so i'm definitely going to use it as a pre-poo but overall just for today's video it was a lot of oil overload and that's not anything that the brand's fault did it's just didn't want to put too much oil in my hair but in my next video for the update I will show you guys the different ways that I can use it. And last but not least, the burdock root and mint butter. So this definitely smells absolutely amazing. If you don't like the smell of mint, then you will not like this. And I love the smell of mint. So definitely, definitely, definitely will recommend this. It felt really good and really smooth going into my hair. This does have shea butter in it as well as avocado butter, castor oil, vitamin E, and other essential oils. And honestly, I feel that it did aid in the softness of my hair. So overall, I am so excited to give you guys an update in a few weeks on how it will help my hair. And I will do a length check for you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have any other brands off of Etsy, natural hair care brands that you would like for me to try because who knows you may see it on my channel i love reviewing and i love doing this until next time guys thank you so much for watching and oh i do this in every video today's shirt for the day says emotionally exhausted if y'all was watching the news and they stormed the capitol i'm just <sighs> but anyway we're gonna leave on a good note guys thank you so much for watching i Love you guys for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already, please do so. It's free to do so. And I love bringing you guys this content. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.